In this video, I've made a cathode ray tube by cleaning off a wine bottle, drilling a hole through it with a diamond drill, putting a small hoop of aluminum wire or copper wire you can also use in the uh, top of the bottle, sealing it off with JB Weld high strength epoxy cement, letting it uh, work here so it's, uh, it's now pretty, pretty strong, getting a cork, drilling a hole through it, filling the hole with the epoxy and then poking a copper tube down the bore of the tube. Then I've got a small amount of nichrome wire which I've cored around the top of the um, piece of copper tubing so it's like a cold cathode. This end is negative. This end is connected to the positive. And I've got a neon sign transformer. I've got two 12K microwave oven um, diodes, rectifiers, connected together in series to give me rectified AC. So this comes out as, as DC, uh, negative on this end positive on this end. In the bottom of the bottle is some powder. This actually is the uh, fluorescent powder taken out of an old uh, broken um, kitchen fluorescent light bulb. You'll need a pretty good vacuum pump. A single stage will not do it. This one's a, a dual stage, double stage, that can pull a really good vacuum. You want to get most of the air out so that you actually do get cathode rays forming. I epoxied around the cork where the pipe goes through to get rid of any possible leaks in this location. I reinforced the epoxy with more epoxy to give me a really good seal.